見るがいいこのガルーダの飛翔をなコーンこう時間がない暗いバカめお前にいちいち話をする義理などないわ Hey everyone, this is Gar s g a m e r m a n with another video on Saint Seiya Awakening. In this video, I want to talk about team building. So, with team building, this is going to make or break your experience in both PvE and PvP. There's a few major components that I want to go over that'll go through the team building process and will enhance your experience in the game. So, obviously, your Saint's grade is going to make a big difference. So, what I mean by grade or rarity. Is if they're S, 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 E, X, B, or A. And you can go to your Saint listing here and see the different rarity levels. So that's going to be one of the obvious things. I do want to go through three main components. The first is your energy, second, Saint specific abilities, and third is your lineup in your team. So let's go through the first one. In battle, you have a certain amount of energy available in each fight. Round one, you have either two or three, and I'll talk about that in a second. Round two, you have four or five, round three, six or seven, and then round four, you have eight. So you're gonna have eight available until round four. There's saints that give you more energy throughout the game, but that's something else. Generally speaking, though, you're gonna have two, four, six, and eight, and then once you get to eight, you'll have eight indefinitely. but Rounds don't really go that far unless you're doing PvE. PvP, they usually end in a couple rounds. Sometimes it could go longer, but it just varies on your fight. We're going to do a practice fight. Now, in order to do that, you go back here from the start menu, go PvP, Field of Honor, go to Sacred Duel, and then on the bottom right hand side, there's a trial button. You click on that, and here's how we could do a practice fight in the game. Now, this you want to use this menu for、uh, just testing out different teams, energy, anything you want within the battle. And these guys are all pretty weak as far as damage goes. They have quite a bit of life, but it's good so you could at least practice your abilities. Alright, so let's just go with this team for this example. Now, as you can see, I started off with three energy. Now, why do I have three energy? Well, it's because on my Saints, this one specifically, I've got Marsh Fairy, and now that gives you an additional energy. So that's with your Cosmo. So that gives you one plus energy throughout the fight. And it's for round one, two, three, four, and so forth. And you max out at eight, so it won't matter after four, round four, but the first three rounds, it matters a lot. So that extra energy really does make a difference. So let's just get through round one here. And just gonna do auto fight here. Okay, round two here. So, as you can see, I've got five energy now. Again, I would have started off with four normally, but I do have this specific Cosmo that gives me one additional. So, I started off with five. Next round, I'm gonna start off with six, but then with Marsh Fairy, I'm gonna start off with seven, and so forth. So, energy is gonna be. Determine how many attacks with abilities you could do in a fight. Okay, in this fight, I've got quite a few characters that could do a lot of damage, but each require about two to three energy. And I'm limited to about three right now. I could get a little more, so I'll show you here in the battle. So I'm going to skip this and just do a regular attack with him. Now, with Athena, I can generate two energy, and this only applies to the first round, and after that, it'll be the fourth round. and So, forth. So, it takes a couple rounds to actually get the two energy again. So, I start off here with five now. I'm just going to do just a simple energy generator here. I'm not going to use energy with Sean. He's got the ability to do two damage with,、uh, well, to do damage with two energy, but I'm not going to use that yet. So, since I'm limited to five, I want to make sure I use. The right skills on the right battle and the right turn. So, here I do want to shield up, so that's going to require three energy. And cover somebody here. Now, with him, I could use two energy as well, but I don't want to use that because I want to use Sean's last ability to wrap somebody up. 
And that's generally how my first round goes. I shield up and do my defenses or my, any of my controls. Then round two, I start to do other things like my abilities where I could do damage or protection or some other sorts of ability. So here, I want to use those last two with Thanatos. Keep shielding him. Protect him. And use up the last two here. So now I'm left with one energy, which no one else can use at the end. Shown requires two, but I don't have enough for him. And as you can see, the battle's going pretty quick here. Round three, now I've got six energy to start with, plus the one from the Marsh Fairy. Now here I could just go all out because I don't need a lot of energy. He only needed two. She needs one. He needs two, but I don't use his skill because I don't need it yet. Here I could use two as well. I've got four left, so these last three could use two maximum. So I'm going to save his. Use Thanatos' energy. And then Sean's ability for the last two. And so you can see I'm using up as much energy as I can and I'm trying to be efficient with it and using them in the right round so energy is really going to determine who you put in your lineup you don't want to put in your lineup people who take up so much energy that you can't really use their skills so again let's let's go here one last time and if I put individuals that take up too much energy I'm not efficiently using up or using the saints to their maximum potential because of a lack of energy. So for instance, if I put someone who takes up a lot of energy like this Arayashiki Shaka and Doko, I'm not going to get the maximum benefit round one because I can't use all of their abilities and some of them require time to charge up as well. So here I can't use him. I'm not going to use his energy here. Now here I would want to shield up as I normally do, but now I'm out of energy. So he could only do his basic Shaka. Probably round one you're going to use his basic anyway, so that's fine. His um, little pool of blood there. But then Doku, he does need time to charge up, so I wasn't going to use him to fight first round. However, not a lot of damage, just did one shield, and that's really it. I didn't do a lot with this guy. The good thing is they're hitting Doko. Now, here, round two again, I do want to use his ability. Otherwise, they're just sitting there doing nothing. But, as you can see, now I'm low on energy. I've only got three. The last two are Ayashiki and Doko used four. So, now round two, he's useless. And there's no point in saving that energy because Doko needs four and he's useless round two. Ideally, I'd like to have him attack round two because he's got already those four orbs, meaning he's maximum at his max charge. But I can't because I don't have enough energy. Now, I could have if I didn't use Ofuko, the first character here in the lineup. If I didn't use his ability, then I could have. Now, again, round three, I'm at seven energy. Ideally, I want to use or have eight because Araishiki could pop his turn and Doku as well. But now I'm down to seven. And again, it's not efficiently being used each turn's energy. And shield him. Protect him. And see, now I've got a choice of using Araishiki or Doku. I'm going to go ahead and go with Doku. And I'm left with one energy. Again, not very efficient. So as you can see, you could use them in battle, but they're not going to be great usage within each turn because there's not enough energy for everybody. Now here, I am going to not attack with him. I'm just going to shield anybody here. I'm not going to do anything with Shooter, just as basic. And now I can use that Ashiki's attack. Use his 
basic and then doku's final attack as well but see it isn't until round four that i actually start really utilizing them because of the lack of energy so as you can see it's, it's not very good not very efficient and if you're doing pvp you're pretty much dead at this point i mean you're not really utilizing your heavy attackers so that's how energy plays into this one of the many i want to show you before we get into this is the lineup so if you go to the bottom middle of the screen there's a lineup button and this is where you could actually create your lineups now you have up to eight lineups you could create different teams and build-ups so let's go through a couple of these lineups first one is a pretty nice lineup i've got cannon who uses three energy but he also generates three energy so the first round he creates his own energy to attack which is great and let's keep in mind that i've got three energy the first round so his three are coming from him himself so he generates three i start with six so he uses his three shaka uses two with his ability so now we're down to one athena she can generate two additional so now i'm back up to three hashun he uses one so now i'm down to two and i do use it on milo milo doesn't use any energy so he attacks really i've still got two left and at the end i've got ten of those who uses two so it's very efficient it uses up all the energy in the first round second round's a little different but first round i really do my damage i do my silence generate my energy and all that stuff so it's a really good sign setup here so if you go into each saint they have their own specific abilities ability two and three are normally the active ones that you're going to use sometimes uh, the passives but mostly uh, two is going to be an active one and you want to use abilities based on what you want to do in a battle so for instance saints are either damage saints they're controllers or there's some sort of support so if they're a damage saint or damage dealing saint it would be single target or aoe so in this lineup phoenix is does an aoe attack initially but then he's single target after that ayoros is single target and so is mew in this other lineup Cannon, Gemini Cannon, he's single target. Saga Hemenes, he's AoE. He's always AoE damage. So those are different damage dealers. Now we've got controllers as well, which do silence, stun, exile, petrify, ensnare, and several other things. So in this lineup here, we've got the Nero Priest. She does silence, as you can see in her second ability. Then we've got supports. So Athena would be considered a support. She's also a damage dealer, but she supports in generating energy. So first round, she generates two energy. Subsequent round, she could put a mark on your allies. And if they hit them, they could potentially generate energy as well. But then she's also a damage dealer secondary because once she gets to rounds, I'd say three and up, then she could really deal some damage because she won't use a lot of energy to deal it. And you've got Hashun or Underworld Sean. He's also a support. He doesn't really do damage. He more or less heals and he allows others to gain an extra turn. Divine Sean, he protects an ally, so that's a support. Then you've got Shidu, who's also a support. He grants a shield to his allies next to him. And uh, he could also mark individuals to counterattack. So you, you want to have a combination of everything. Damage, control, support, control. You don't have to always have a controller, but it helps. So you just want to make sure you bring saints to have a combination of, of these three elements. All right, so let's go now into the lineup of your team. When I say lineup, it's not, okay, you've got your six characters and that's it. They're going to go one after the other. You have to look at the speed. Speed's going to be a big differentiator here. Now you want to attack in the right orders. So ideally, I want Ichi to go first, Kiki to be second, Ayotos to be third, then Athena, Iki, and Mu. Mu, let's see if this works out. I don't think I have this set up correctly though. I think that Kiki is gonna be third instead of second. So there, if Kiki would have gone 
next, then he would have generated a 2 energy, making it 4 for Iotas to attack, which didn't work out in this case because he's awakened and I gotta adjust their speed. So let's pretend that, okay, Iotas did do his attack. I'm down to, I'm supposed to be down to 0 energy here. Athena would generate her 2, so let's pretend that she generated her 2. And now Kiki, Iki, is gonna do his attack. And transform, and then Mew's not gonna use any energy, which is fine. If you don't have this lined up correctly, it's not gonna work out as you can see in this example. It didn't work out exactly as I wanted it to. And that's gonna really make a difference. The round one and two, when you're in PvP, make a big difference. That's gonna really determine the tide of the battle going forward. So here's this one. I'm going to use just this basic here, not using the energy. I would like to, but I don't have enough to use his ability. I'm going to generate two here. What I do want to do is set up my defenses, though, and do any controls in this first round. So if somebody hits him, she's going to generate energy, although it doesn't matter here because they all attack after me, so it doesn't make a difference. I'm going to shield him. There's one defense there. Here's my next set of defenses. So now I've shielded three characters. Athena I don't worry about because she could resurrect for three additional turns. Who I don't have protection for is Ofuko, the first one, but I could always put this Aphrodite's shyness on him and just shield him up so he's covered. Now I've got four saints covered and Athena's free, so they could attack her. I don't really care. And if they do, I've got Sh Dragon Shiru who's going to counterattack. Put his mark and control him. So now, round one, I've really done a lot. I've provided protection for my entire team, minus one person who is fine. I want them to attack her. And then I put up marks on each individual and controlled one of them as well. So now here, I could put up my treatment in case they hit me. I'll heal up. And now I could go on the offensive. Now I could use her ability, but I'm gonna save it. If if this was PVP, then I'm gonna put a mark on somebody else and the enemy's gonna attack somewhere between my characters and theirs. And so they could generate energy for me as well that way. I'm gonna continue shielding Sean because now I've got four saints covered or five actually one hidden over here I'm gonna do another mark on somebody else to counter attack he's gonna use this too and Sean's just gonna do a basic attack but you see round one and two very efficient energies used uh, the lineups in a correct order and uh, the abilities are the ones that I want to go in there I've got control I've got damage I got support defense healing this is a great team i love this team here so as you can see these are the teams that this these components are really going to determine how you play in a game so building a team is very essential and you want to build them with the right set of abilities as well so hopefully this video helped if you did uh please feel free to subscribe and like and i'll see you guys in the next one